In this video I talk about a subject that's very sensitive to a lot of you guys. CTFs. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris, I work in cybersecurity and uh, on this channel I make a lot of videos on the topic. So if you're into that, subscribe and uh, ring the bell to get notified of all my new videos. And if you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and need one-on-one -on -one coaching or training, check out the description of this video and uh, get in touch with me. Now, let's cut to the chase. Why I uh, stopped playing CTFs? This is the question. First off, um, I never actually, I was never a die-hard fan of uh, conventional CTF challenges. And I know that... Um, not only teenagers and young adults swear by CTFs, but also many seasoned uh, cybersecurity professionals. And I actually get the idea. It's, uh, it's the fact that the curious hacker mind uh, craves a good challenge. Let me get this straight. What I specifically dislike about uh, CTFs is that an overwhelming majority of them are completely freaking unrealistic i mean come on uh for example in the real world you're working as a penetration tester how many times in your pen testing assessments would you actually need to find hidden text in freaking images fellas check out my python basics course uh, to learn the fundamentals of python that you need in uh, cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description. Not meaning to bash anything or anyone here, but uh, this is what I stand for at the moment. You may be wondering, why the title of this video then? I've never been the fan of CTFs, uh, but if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been doing a lot of hack the box, bomb hub, attack defense, and other uh, challenges or scenarios on different platforms. Now, you could call these CTF platforms as well, but I like to see them uh, more closer or as closer to real world practice because I've, uh, I've actually encountered similar scenarios in my day job. And uh, I would say that at least for now, um, and I'm not sure for how long, I've stopped actually practicing on these platforms altogether and I've also stopped uh, paying for subscriptions. Now comment down below and let me know which one or which is your favorite platform for hands-on practice when it comes to uh, actually real world or close to real world uh, scenarios of course. So why the hell uh, am I doing that? Why did I actually stop? Where's all the fun? Guys, I started a collection of hackers wearables and I've got a few designs already up for grabs. Uh, I'm actually working on a few uh, new designs as we speak, not only for apparel, but also for other accessories. Now, this is a great way for you to support the channel and actually wear a premium hoodie, of course, um, if you like any of uh, these designs. Link in the description. Why I stopped even doing challenges and vulnerable machines. Now, the simple and short answer is, drum rolls please, bug bounty hunting. Doing a CTF challenge uh, or uh, exploiting a vulnerable machine on a platform can be nice and engaging, uh, but in the end, once you finish, your uh, reward usually comes in the form uh, of points and maybe a better place in a leaderboard or something. The major reward actually in this case when playing CTFs, in my view, is uh, what you're actually learning during the process and also the personal satisfaction, the dopamine rush you get by finishing it. Uh, now, that's hard to beat, except if you're doing a bug bounty hunting. So in your typical bug bounty program, a company invites you to actually find security flaws in their assets to hack them. And uh, this actually usually happens under a responsible disclosure policy and for every flaw that you find and uh, you report to them, you actually get paid. 
Of course, uh, there are also programs that don't pay cash rewards, uh, but they do some other form uh, of acknowledgement for your efforts. So what's the difference here compared to your typical CTF? Well, there are a few. First, this is actually real world stuff. Second, you're contributing to the security of companies, uh, also the security of people and information itself. Third, you actually learn tremendously during the process, thereby you're increasing your expertise. Fourth, you're actually getting paid for uh, that, of course. But, and the big but, the biggest turnoff uh, in bug bounty hunting is that it can often lead to burnout. In many cases, it's extremely frustrating as you can go for weeks without actually finding anything. And I've been there. But then again, when you actually find something, uh, well, that's actually the feeling that no freaking CTF in the world would ever come close to. Needless to say, once again, and I need to highlight this, this is actually my current subjective perspective, which in the future might change. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll, I'll probably uh, go or find something really fun in playing CTFs. Okay, now since we're on the same topic, you might want to check out this video uh, I did recently on platforms where you can practice your cybersecurity skills hands-on. Also, you might want to join this amazing community of uh, InfoSec geeks on Discord where we discuss all things uh, cybersecurity. Now, there's a link below for that. Guys, please help me grow the channel by sharing uh, this video around so that YouTube uh, starts suggesting uh, my content to more cybersecurity people. Until next time, thank you for watching.